1401, take one. All right, sir. Uh, in the NATO organization, you invited uh, France uh, via de Gaulle to join. Uh, did you feel that he would be a good partner in NATO? Yes. Uh, France is uh, geographically situated in a key position so far as uh, Western Europe is concerned. They are really the bridge between Germany, Spain, and Italy. And it was necessary to have a, a NATO organization that was unified, and France was a necessary member of that organization. Did you think that uh, de Gaulle, as a person rather than just France, would give you complete cooperation? I did at the time. I, of course, I wasn't as well acquainted with him as uh, people who had been closely, more closely associated with him, but uh, he's uh, rather a prima donna and turned out to be uh, uh, hard to get along with. But he was in, uh, we were in a position where he had to go along after he committed himself to do it, although he never hesitated to cause us trouble whenever he had an opportunity. Uh, he caused trouble uh, near the end of the war, as I recall. Could you tell us that story? Uh, near the uh, end of the war, uh, he was uh, very difficult. And I never could understand it because uh, we, United States government, had saved France three times. And uh, uh, he was trying to put it in a position as if it had never had to be saved by outside help. And uh, well, that's one of the things I think that made him difficult to get along with. He's a very, fr very proud Frenchman and very proud of his country. And uh, I didn't blame him for that. Do yeah. you want to say anything about the attitude of uh President Roosevelt to the goal. Uh, President Roosevelt was over there at Yalta uh, for uh, the setting up of uh, arrangements, uh, some of which had been agreed on at Quebec by uh, Winston Churchill and Mr. Roosevelt, President Roosevelt, and he went over there to implement those uh, agreements. And at Yalta, they made 16 agreements with uh, 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 France and and the and Russian and the, Russia and the rest of the of Eastern Europe in an effort uh, to keep the uh, uh, free countries in Europe and Southeast Asia free, and uh, mm. Stalin agreed to that. Well, we never had any trouble like that with uh, De Gaulle. De Gaulle uh, was proud of France and tried to make France the leader of. Uh, free Europe, and uh, it, the necessity for help when it came time to make a maneuver always came from the United States. We were the cause of the recovery of all the uh, uh, enemy uh, people in Eastern Europe and North and Southeast Asia. Uh, it, it's an, an unusual uh, situation, an unusual program, because uh, the victory hardly ever uh, helps the vanquished to recover. We did just that. And of course, we had to do the same thing for France that we did for the rest of Europe. And uh, uh, de Gaulle, being a very proud person, was rather hard to get along with. He was uh, balky on a lot of things, but he usually came around when the necessity made it necessary for him to do it. Cut.